Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I am here today on the Shadows of Starlight series episode 3. I'm pretty sure it's episode 3. So you guys are going to recognize from last time what I did was finish off the base portion. I also tricked out the HV as you can see, uh, like I said I was going to, and oh, it's got some damage. Not sure what that's from. It might be from the patrol vessel. That's probably what it's from. So let's just repair that. Yeah, there's a patrol vessel on the planet that uh, can shoot its plasma and lasers. So it's really nasty. Okay, let's repair this up here really quick. So I put um, I put the jet thrusters on two in each direction, so eight in total, except for up and down, of course. Diver vehicle. Um, so, yeah, there it is. There's the improved hover box with uh, some turrets on it. And basically, it's still the same hover box. I just added some stuff. But uh, today, what I want to do... Oh, here, I, I might as well show you the rest of this. So it's close to finished off right now. I'm just waiting to get some grow plots in here so I can start getting some... Uh, uh, vegetables going and other necessary medical um, produce. Okay, so this is the underside, kind of the storage right now, but I've I've sealed it off and it's got oxygen. I just not really sure what I'm going to do right now. I I had to put in some extra air tanks and another fuel tank, so I did that. Also. Using the HV, I went out and, you know, killed more golems. But I also found deposits, and I mined out um, a bunch of deposits. So I have a ton of resources at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we'll go upstairs. So the upstairs is still the same. I haven't really modified this at all. You can see where the concrete is now uh, a part of the interior structure too because of just how it connected in. Anyway, uh, not much has changed up here other than a, a ton of resources as you can see. I've got, I've got all the basic resources uh, plus cobalt. I also know a couple of magnesium deposits so we can go get those if, if needed. We don't need them yet. Uh, oh, let's eat. So I wanted to go throw out some wet generators really quick. And I've also got my, where is it here? Factory. Oh, library. I've got the Econo bug eye bus ready to go. Now, the re reason I chose the Econo one is it was just, it's cheaper on Neo and South because it doesn't have as many rocket launchers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it's it's not too bad for a level 10 SV. It's basically a, a sort of a mid-game SV, real, realistically. It's not really a starter SV because uh, it's, it's got, you know, Cobalt, Neo, and Sath involved with it. But it's it's close enough. It's It's... The Cobalt, Neo, and Sath that you need to get for it are pretty easy to get. I mean, well, you can get the Neo from like four capacitor devices is enough to do that. So I've got that ready to go. So I think we should spawn that in. And I've got a bunch of uh, ammo for it ready. So just head down, get this spawned in. So there we go. We've got the Econo. Bug Eye Bus, 
we'll just leave the name like that. That's fine. <clears throat> so this is my Econo version, which has one less gun on each side and one less missile on each side, missile launcher on each side. I've also, this one, this version doesn't have the jet thrusters. It just has the medium tier thrusters on it. Uh, and it's still, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's good enough uh, to do some simple combat and simple POI takedowns and, and stuff like that. I can also, uh, you know, bump it up later on. I can swap out the thrusters and put uh, put more um, rocket launchers on and stuff like that. So this is our Bug Eye bus we're going to be using. Let's get in it. And actually, what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like under power. Let's uh, fill this, fill this. We're going to fill this. So right now, 5,000 bullets and uh, 630 missiles. So we're good to go there. And let's power this up. And whoa, what um, did... Oh, yeah. Okay, the, uh, it was just that shutting that caused it to freak out. So you can see that texturing makes it glow green where that texture is. So that's pretty cool when it's when it's under power. So let's uh, take this puppy out. And we'll cr what we need to do is throw down these wet generators. So there's a small pond there. Or we can just put it on the snow, but that won't be as efficient. Let's go over here. If we have to kill a bunch of stuff, then we have to kill a bunch of stuff. Go into the middle here. <clears throat> Just level off and sink down. Okay, let's jump out. Okay, so let's put these out here. Get the oxygen going. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of an issue. I can tell. Do I need to do this with the drone? Oh, bothersome. <laughs> uh, what if I stood it up? Will that work? No. No? No. Um, okay, so let's not go so deep then. Because it's obviously going to be a challenge to me. Okay, so that's not so bad. Let's do this. And we'll get this out. Come on. Can we get it beside it? Right there? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> get these out. Let's flip these. Come on, I don't want it clipping inside the other one. Come on, right there. Right there. That's not so bad if I can swim. Come on. Come on. Is it going to? No, I'm getting too, too deep. Okay. That's okay. Let's. We should be able to, if I. There, let's go like this. This. And come on, can we, can we go there? Yep, good, okay. Okay, so let's fill these up. Uh, I don't want to put all in, I'm 
just going to get like five in each for now. And that gives us like 10 hours. <clears throat> I can't actually make them yet anyway, so I'm not high enough level, but that's going to be rectified very soon because I think I'm almost level I'm, I'm level 17 by the way and I think I'm almost level 18 yeah I'm getting close to 18 so yeah the the hover box at level 4 allowed me to just pff, crazily raise levels <laughs> it, uh, it was a little ridiculous but that's one of the game mechanics right now. That's one of the survival methods that I use. And it's a fast, safe way of grinding for resources, experience, and meat. And uh, it works quite well. As you can see, me being almost 18th level, I haven't really even started the missions yet here. But, like I say, I wasn't necessarily planning on jumping right into the mission with this series. And I think what I want to do today is take the Bug Eye bus. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. I think I want to take the Bug Eye bus. and find that frickin' CV. I've got lots of multi-tool charges. I've got... Oh, do I not have box? What? Oh, come on, really? Okay, I just gotta turn that on. Okay. I do have some oxygen on me, that's fine. Okay. <coughs> We're fine. I want to go hunt down that uh, patrol vessel and kill it. Then I can work on other POIs without the threat of that thing. So where does it... I know it goes over by this Prometheum deposit that I have found, and that's also another POI there. I'm pretty sure that's a shooty POI. So it looked like it has a couple turrets out on it, yeah. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, there it is. There's the patrol vessel there. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to lure it somehow. Where is it going? Where is it going? I think I want to lure it over here. Over by the, um, the station here. Yeah, here it comes. It sees me. Okay, let's keep keep going over this direction. Keep pulling it over. Come on. Come on. I know I know you wanna come after me. Switch to our missiles, get those loaded. So I should get the uh, Gatling guns loaded too. Here it comes. Okay, so not really sure where its turrets are. Whoa! How about right there? That's where the turrets are. They are right. Oh my goodness. Okay, that makes it much harder. That's not fair. <laughs> it's got flying turrets and I can't even hit it. <sighs> I'm not sure if this ship can take this guy on. It's too fast. These aren't the right missiles. I'm gonna aim in front. Ha 
I gotta kinda like fluke out with my missiles, really. That's what it comes down to. Jesus. This is insane. I'm not sure if I can do it. Oh, I hit it once, sir. Come on. Wow, this is super tough. This guy moves so fast. And these are not guided rockets, right? So I, I'm just kind of trying to fluke out and hit his... Come on, get him, get him, get him. This is like super difficult. I wonder if I should try switching to my Gatling guns. What's the range? 358, 358, God, these things have range on me. Yeah, there's one. Come on. God, I gotta just sit here and take it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I think that cripples him. Now, I, let's get a little closer. Let's get, see if, what he, what else he's got here. Oh, he's got. From his front, okay, so those are like, um, sentry turrets he's got on the front there. <laughs> he's a pain in the eye. This guy is fast for a patrol vessel, like super fast. Okay, so I think I'm just going to switch to guns because for some reason... Is so fast that I just can't. There, I think I got it. I think I got him. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Not sure if his guns on the front can shoot, and I really don't want to find out. I think we try and core a hole in him right now as we get really freaking close, and the missiles are always going to hit. And he is not letting. Me. Oh, there we go. 
it says destroyed, but it's still got a red name, so I think all I did was take out the generator. I gotta find the core. Uh, okay, so... Where do you think the core is gonna be? Do I jump down and have a look? Yeah, let's do that. So let's... What we can do is level off, and we'll just... That scared me the first time I, did, I took out a patrol vessel in in uh, Alpha 7 and it started blowing up on me. It, it, I, I nearly, I needed my, my Negan pooping pants, let me tell you. Okay. Um, oops. Level off and we'll just jump out really quick and turn my jetpack off. I don't want to jump too high when I spawn my... Take a look here. I'm going to try and find the core or the more likely place. So there's some RCS. i to get in here to take a look. Oh, there's the core right there. Right there. So it's... So see that, folks? It's, it's right in the midsection right here. Okay. So what we'll do really quick then, is we'll pop the core, because I want to get all these um, thrusters on it. So let's... Okay, there we go. Now I can multi-tool this thing down. So let's do that. Oops. Level off. <clears throat> Get these thrusters, so let's... We're gonna go for a disassemble and try and just take the whole thruster block. Oh, much needed Neo and all that. This is huge. Okay, so I don't necessarily need that. I want thrusters. Thrusters, thrusters, we'll get these weapons. Come on. This should give us some good stuff out of it. Good thing I got a lot of multi charges. Okay. That's, uh, Get in here and plugging away at these. Another pulse laser. Okay. And what else do we have here? We've got anything in here. Well, this thing has really um, got like nothing. It's just, it's just straight up fighter. Okay, so let's look for all of its thrusters and stuff. That can't be it for thrusters. That I didn't find very many at all there. There's got to be more. Are they just hidden? much of, of this as we can before it de 
respawns here. I should probably take the panels because they take less to hit with the multi-tool. I think they still count as full blocks if we get one. So. So another aspect of the game, as you can see, is smashing stuff and stealing its parts. It's quite a satisfying feeling, actually. Now, if I wanted a better return, I could put my own core in. Oh, it's about to despawn. And there it goes. Okay, well, let's see what we got out of it. Hmm. Mediocre. Mediocre at best, but it's now gone. So, that's something. We did get a bunch of Neo, which is good. We've we got a power coil, so that might be useful somewhere. Uh, some Zascosium alloy, some ingots. So, we can, you know, it's, uh, it's more than what we had. Hell yeah, I'm not I'm not complaining. Okay, let's uh I was hoping that it had some loot containers or something that it would drop, but that's okay. The whole point of that was just to take that stupid thing out, and that was difficult. It had those turrets that had like they were like pulse laser turrets or something. Like, come on, really? I whatever. It cheated. It was, it was a cheat. But I still killed it. I had to use my Gatling gun, so <laughs> that was brutal. That was just brutal. Okay, so... Let's level off for a second here and check our damage. Yikes. What do we got that's damaged? Got our guns are damaged at this point. Huh. That's it. Okay. Well, not. Oh. We've got one of our shutter doors. Our big shutter door. Why do I have so many shutter doors on this thing? That's... What? Anger shutter doors? Really? I have 13 on here? Huh. Okay. Um... looking too too bad not looking too too bad that's all repairable okay so let's do that really quick we'll level off and bring out our multi we got our multi-tool out we'll switch it to repair and it was a bunch of the weapons so there we go Oh, I lost some blocks on the front. But I mean, this is just... This isn't even hardened steel, so... I'm not surprising I lost a bunch of blocks. And that's what it's there for. To take those hits. It's a bulkhead. Yeah, it's only made out of regular steel, but still... It's extra... Protection... It didn't get through into the cockpit now, did it? Right? So, I'll just replace those blocks on it and we're good to go again. And potentially, um, I did loot some hardened steel, so I can throw that on, I can replace those. Um, I might even be able to do that right here and now. Let's, let's take a look. 
one of the great things about mobile constructors is they can do HV and SV parts. So I'm just going to throw all this stuff in there. I guess didn't need that. So let's see if we can. Yeah, we can make some hardened steel blocks. So we'll make well, as many as we can. I'm sure I'm going to need more as they get shot out. So excellent. And we can also put that on us and upgrade other ones so let's install these so that is a half oh I saw some damage in behind there so let's repair it really quick there we go get all this up Okay, so let's get the half block here and get that installed. And that's two of the angled corner ones, so these ones. And we're going to go like that, and then like that. that. Okay. So, and then we can also choose to upgrade. And we can upgrade things like that, and that, and that. steel plate. Okay, so we've we've started upgrading our bulkhead to hardened steel, so that's going to help repel some uh, attacks. What are we looking like for missiles and stuff? So, oh yeah, we're still good, doing good. Let's check out this. Let's check out this guy over here. He looks like he needs some killing. Or looting, raiding. So I saw that he had two turrets on top. So I want to leave the. I want to kill the defenses first. So it's a missile silo. Okay. Okay. I wonder what its range is. Let's let's see. We're gonna test its range, and I'm gonna leave the drones alone if I can because. I want to take out the ground defenses first so that when I do kill the drones I want to be able to loot them still because I, cause I, oh wow they uh, okay okay they can shoot straight up that sucks so that was like right there coming straight down and hit it again and him and go for him and go for him again and go for him again go for him okay so I was seeing some action over here it's there oh no it's that one isn't it Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's make sure. Is that it then? Is there no more shooty? Other than the, uh, the drones. Make sure that there's no more defenses. So, which include a 
sentry guns. Let's see. Let's see. Don't see any. Do you want to get down too low or else that cannon drone will start taking pot shots at me? I know I'm flying upside down right now, I'm just... Uh, I don't see any anti-personnel guns. Not to say there's not going to be, I just don't see any. I would think under here would be the most logical spot for it, I don't see it. Okay, so let's You know what let's kill these guys then let's kill these guys Oh troop transport, okay Get this guy a little closer here and Okay Okay, so do I hang out for the troop transport, or, or do I try and get the parts? Am I going to get shot at if I try and get parts? No? Okay, let's do this really quick. Because I need these parts. Especially the capacitor devices, yes. Excellent. Okay, and we want the... We want the um, troop transport. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? So this looks like a, quite a large POI. And it's got loot containers. Oh, is that a spawner there? That looks like a spawner. Let's, let's go deal with that. Or no, that's just a light. So there's an elevator down from the top. Okay. Oh, there's a spawner. And then... Come on, where are you? There you are. There you are. Let's... Kill ya. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. This guy looted up. Three capacitor devices, it's not bad. That's 60 Neo. And then what did I loot from before? Oh, I'd, I'll have to look, but let's see. I can put it in here. So 30, so almost 100 then. Okay. Oops. That on me. Might as well put that. Okay. Well, um, this was a good start. I think what I want to do is. Hmm, so that came from that direction. Right, because that's where, yeah, okay. Um, I think what I want to do is go look for something maybe a little smaller at first. This looks like a full blown, massive POI. I'm not sure how deep it goes. I don't know if it's just 
there, but uh, I have a feeling it. And look at that guy, he's like on the, that's kind of unusual, a slime spawning on a POI. Huh. I don't see any other... Oh, there's loot stuff right there though, you know what, let's... Should we risk it? Should we... Should we risk it, or should we see if it's sending reinforcements? Oh, there's another Prometheum. That's the iron I was working on. Obviously, you can see how big it was, 8400, a nice one. Okay, so... I think it's right over here, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see any drones that he sent, so I think we're... I think we're okay unless there's a delay. I can't remember. But let's head back there and, and loot those uh, exterior containers anyway. <clears throat> Maybe we can get uh, like some weapons kits out of it. Or some better armor or something. I don't know, something. And some health stuff too. doesn't really feel right doing a raid with only like nine bandages because that's all I have. <laughs> okay. So let's level off and yeah that looks fine. Let's land. Okay. Okay we'll just keep it running. Weapons out. And where is it? It's over there. Come on. I don't see. I don't see any anti personnel turrets. <clears throat> I took out a spawner, so, okay, let's take a look. Crap, and okay, a little shotgun upgrade kit, that's not bad, at least it's something. Ah, crap. Is this a door there? What is that? Oh, it is an automatic door. Oh, yeah, turn my light on, then I can actually see. And crap, crap, crap. Really? That sucks. Uh, get all this stuff. Action. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> Bloody. Okay. That's it. You're paying for that one, buddy. 
Oh, another troop transport, really? Okay, we should be able to, like, scoop this guy up really quick, though. Nope, there's the troop transport right there. We'll come back for it, and what's... what? What's there? Something's there? A cannon drone. It got stuck on the trade station. Okay. And level 18. I guess I should kill this guy too. Or where is he? get this guy over here really quick because he was the first one I shot down. I'll have to suss out the damage later, but for now we'll just... Is, oh, good, four capacitor devices. Oops, I'm gonna have to do something about this. Let's throw this in the cargo for now. We'll just get all this in there. That's a score, that's a score. Okay, troop transport next. And oh, we've got a replacement something coming already? Really? Yep. I don't want these guys despawning. Let him get closer. There we go. And get rid of him. Okay, let's just quickly get this troop transport. Come on. Nice! Seven capacitor devices. Okay. Get this drone over here. And, oh, another one's coming. Okay. and furious for me all of a sudden here. I'm gonna get this rocket drone. But the uh, troop transport will be here any second. Right? No? Did you, did you not launch your troop? Oh, there he is. Okay. get fairly close. Well, maybe not. I don't want him dropping anything. Yet. Okay, so we'll get, get this guy really quick. Uh, actually, they're both close enough we can get both of them.
Nice. And excellent. Wow, that's 21 capacitor devices. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go get that other one. enough for now. Besides, I'm getting low on food. I didn't bring enough with me, so I'd have to go shoot up some slimes. And I think I'd rather just head home and uh, check out my all the loot I just got. So, that wasn't bad. We took out the patrol vessel. We neutralized the uh, missile silo by the trading station and killed a whole bunch of drones and, and troop transports and looted them and that's what's actually got us some good stuff was was looting the drones and troop transports so let's I should probably start landing up top and punch the elevator right up through I'll do that later for now That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out what we had here. So, let's drag everything onto us. We'll jump out. And, oh wow, terrific parking job. Let's take a look. So, the front end. I had to repair with those blocks. Let's see what happened in the rear here. Oh yeah, so he uh, he attacked one of my thrusters there and didn't quite kill it. Looks like he damaged it pretty good though. Let's see. Yeah. That's okay. We'll fix all this up. I can do all this off camera. And let's just take a quick look again, see what our loot is. And then I'll put all that away. And go into here. Come on. Had a bunch in here. Come on. Why is it not opening? Come on. There we go. Okay, so that puts our total to 24 capacitor devices. That's really awesome. Stack all this on me. Nice. Okay, and then a bunch of Neo, Cobalt, Sath, some Flux Coils, Oscillators, a power coil, some Zascosium alloy, ingots. Um, yeah, not not a bad score. And then all this stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw all that into the CV blueprint. Uh, actually, we can just do that right now. We'll, so here's my go into the factory right now. I've got my basic hull, engines and warp CV. It's like a starter CV basically. So let's add this stuff in. And nice, so we've maxed out our Sathium. Uh, we're well into the Neo. Okay. And let's just quickly put that in the advanced constructor. So ammo and tools, okay. Come on. Let's 
So not bad, not bad. I mean, the main objective completed was taking out the patrol vessel, so... Okay, good. Good. Now, I don't think any of that stuff is going to help us in the blueprint. Oh, this will. There we go. And none of that. Okay. Okay, so we're we're about halfway to the to the Neo count, which is which is gonna be the hard one to get without going off planet. So halfway, that's not bad. And we've just started POI assault, so I think we should be able to accomplish it this time around and I could make the shotgun too. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Go into weapons and gotta be level twenty for the enhanced one. Okay. Level eighteen. Maybe I gotta grind out two more levels then. That's what I'm thinking I should do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'll do. <clears throat> okay. Well. Well, guys, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, if you guys like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, we're going to continue raiding POIs. Uh, actually, the one that I just hit the turrets on, I think we might go check that out. Or, or you know what, I'll probably continue to fly around and check out, try and find an easier one to start to try and get some gear out of it. To, I, I need armor, I need some, I mean, our, we've upgraded our weapons a little bit, but, but not enough. Not enough, I think I want to... Um, to really be prepared going into these places. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this stuff in the constructor and the rest can go in my cargo box. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Well guys, next time, more killing uh hopefully get some better loot and then and then potentially we'll do the we'll actually go raid the um the factory and and be able to uh multi-tool that down or something and and uh get everything we need for a cv because i know right after we do that we're going to need a cv to warp out of the system so yeah um okay guys until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome day.